The Tulsa Dream Center also hosted its first ever back to school splash at its West Campus location today to give families one last full day of summer fun before school starts. News on 6's Eden Jones has more on how the center hopes this will inspire kids. Incoming fourth grader Blessing says he loves learning. He says his favorite subject is math and it comes naturally to him. It's easy and it's, and it's easy to learn. He is one of many kids who attended the back to school splash at Tulsa Dream Center's West Campus. The event has games, food, free haircuts, and more, and is designed to give kids one last dose of summer fun before they start school. Blessing tried his hand in most, if not all, the event had to offer. I went to a bunch of houses, I did flips, I went to get prizes, and I'm, and I'm going to get a face paint. Marquise Dennis with the Tulsa Dream Center says it's a great way to give back to the community. Now that we're here embedded in West Tulsa, this is a way to just be able to give back and remind them that we are here for them throughout the school year. Dennis hopes this event will help give kids a smooth transition into the classroom and says going into the new school year, the center is hoping to remind kids learning doesn't have to be draining. It can also be fun. We want to make sure to equip them with all of the education tools, but also the enrichment and the fun to make sure that they understand that learning doesn't have to be boring. He also wants kids to know the Dream Center is always a place they can go year-round. We are picking right back up and we're going to go through this school year to make sure that they have the best year possible. Blessing says he is grateful for school and the programs at the Tulsa Dream Center and is excited to use what he's learned later on in life. I, I get to learn new stuff and be smart. So I could find a job and a, a good house to live in. The Dream Center will have a second back to school splash at its North Campus August 26th. In Tulsa, Eden Jones, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.